Hey guys, thank you for the thousand subscribers and welcome to my new video on how to get the best armor in Persona 5. Even though I'm now showing the itemization screen, there is only one armor that is worth making through itemization. But first you need to get the transmutation material, which is black robe. You can get the black robe in treasure chests in palaces, once from the shady commodities shop, and also as a points reward from fishing. The persona you need to itemize is Satan, a level 92 persona. To make this persona, you also need max confident rank with Sai Nijima, the Judgment Arcana. So it's pretty late into the game, around November I think. The armor you can make from Satan is Tantric Oath. It has 272 defense and it highly reduces magic damage. The problem is that it's only for men, and unless you want to buy the DLC that comes on the 2nd of May, you won't be able to find anything close to this for female characters. Some websites claim that you can use Raosha to make an armor for females that reduces damage, but that is not true. Basically they used Google Translate on the Japanese wiki and got a wrong translation. The Japanese wiki has the word thunder, but Google translated thunder as damage. So how do you get the best equipment for Morgana and the female characters? Well, for that you need the shady commodities shop. So starting from the 1st of September, you can go to the second hand shop near Café Le Blanc to buy a broken laptop. Then you have to go to the electronics store in Akihabara and buy a repair toolkit. Repairing the laptop will spend some time, but you will get some proficiency. After you repair the laptop, try to buy as many things as you can from the shop. You need 100k spent to reach the maximum rank. You won't be able to do that the first time, so you'll have to wait one week for the delivery to come and then buy again. After reaching the maximum rank, you'll have to wait until the 25th of November before being able to buy anything interesting. Starting from the 25th of November, you can buy something called Corrupt Gear from the Shady Commodities Store. If you wash that at the laundromat, you have a chance of getting Aristocrat Cape. Even though it doesn't have the highest defense, for now it's the only armor for female characters that has an interesting effect, which is Evade Magic. Next time you'll be able to buy anything interesting from the Shady Commodities shop is from the 11th of December. The two items are Unholy Armor and Desecrated Gear. I think you're only able to buy them twice per playthrough because of time restrictions, so make sure you buy them from the first day they're available. I suggest you save before washing because every time you wash something on the laundromat, the item you use can become one of four different armors. One for men, one for women, one for Morgana and one that is unisex. So it's recommended that you only wash one item at a time because the chances of you getting something you want from one item is 25%. If you wash two items at the same time, the chance of both items being something you want is 6% and for three items it's 1%. From Desecrated Gear there is only one armor that is worth mentioning. It's called Karna's Robe Plus and it has a medium reduction against physical damage. If you compare it to Tantric Oath, you'll see that they're very very similar. I usually give Tantric Oath to the main character because having physical immunity is very easy, but on other characters I prefer Karna's Robe Plus. For Unholy Armor, the choice is more difficult because you can get free armors that are very good. The first one is Demon's Jacket Plus. It's the highest defense armor in the game and it also gives you 5 in strength, but considering the men have other options and you can only get 2 unholy armor per game, I prefer choosing one of the other 2 options. The second armor is Nekumata Coat Plus. The effect is not very exciting, but it's the highest defense armor for Morgana, and Morgana doesn't have other interesting armor anyway, so this is basically the only choice for Morgana. The third item is Hayden Robe Plus. It has high defense and magic plus 5. You might prefer aristocrat robe because of magic evasion. The choice is up to you, you can't get many Hayton robe plus per game, so you'll probably use a mixture of them if you use more than one female character. So that was the last armor. If I forgot something, just tell me in the comments. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. Thank you for watching and maybe see you in the next one.